guys, what's up? It's your friend Sarfnik here with a temporary series known as my hardcore series. Now, awesome some cool name, but at the moment I have no name for it. So, now that GL's over, and well, I've still got a little bit of episodes to release, I decided, well, why not at least uh, have a side series that will definitely not be permanent. It will just be temporary. Well, I think all series are temporary, but s still. But yeah, just to let you guys know, by the way, I might not be clear of this in my video. The series is not over, it's just that I can't record anymore. Because I had a lot of episodes recorded, so those will be coming out soon. It's a good thing they stopped so I can get caught up now. And once uh, GL is over, yeah, I'll probably uh, this one will continue if it's... Because, you know, I can die at any time. And this one will just be over. I might do a second world if it's... Well, if I die, like, too fast. Here we are, on my new hardcore world, so it seems like there's a desert here, birch forest there, forest there, plains here, so flower forest here, and savannah here, and where should I possibly build my base? I'm feeling like, I don't even know, this is a pretty huge hill here, I usually want to build in hills, but I guess it's not important, but maybe we should we should probably build it in the savannah because you guys haven't seen me build in a uh, build in the savannah yet in my most successful base. We could ask Warcries about it. it. Was built in a savannah, which is a cool star fact here. And okay, there's an ocean. Okay, okay, that's a good thing to keep measure of. Looks like there's a some. Lord of the Rings style builds over here, I think, actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do something from this one SMP that was, it uh, used to be a series on my channel, but was removed after I, well, moved, or, well, revamped my channel, so we're gonna do something like that. We got ourselves an average setup. We're gonna get ourselves some average wood. This seems pretty simple, right? Okay, we've already got a sapling, that's good. That's good. Oh, I don't want to use the pickaxe on that one. New recipes unlocked. Yeah, that's that's a pretty useful feature of Minecraft at the moment. Okay, there we go. And there's some pumpkins down there. Pretty hyped for the for the 1.13 uh, update where they're actually going to have the carved pumpkins. Which is cool. 1.13 doesn't have any real new features, it's just more like fixed up features, like side features, and those are cool because, well, you kind of get to see it, like a change the stuff you're used to, which almost is better than the update actually, or equal to a regular update. And, well, they're also doing some important stuff in there, like getting rid of like the old uh, block ID, which is going to allow much more Minecraft uh, content. Alright, this hill looks epic. Uh, I'm not using large biomes or anything, I'm just, this is a regular generated world. Huh. Okay, so, we got these two, hill, two hills here. Alright, the problem is there's no animals around here. There were some around spawn, though. Alright, we got a view of the area. Okay, we're gonna read that in, yeah, we're gonna read that in a second. Uh, I'm not using a map, by the way, for this thing, because I know it's temporary. If I was to start a real survival, well, I might use a map, even though people are probably like, yeah, that's cheating, Sarfnik, even though I humbly disagree. It's not cheating, in my opinion, but you can have your own opinions, because you're a living being. So, we're going to build this little entrance here. I... I do want the entrance to have something like this. Hold on, yeah, that's that's good, that's good. So it's gonna look like this. I wanted this one to pop up. Like this pops out, but this doesn't. But that's okay. But yeah, we're just gonna do some little digging here because we want this place to look generally good and oh, generally good's important.
Okay, we've reached the Stone Age. Good, good, good. Alright, we're gonna leave a crafting table right here. We're actually just gonna use up all these boxes. We don't need to use them for anything. We're gonna make ourselves a stone shovel. And we can start to work on a little bit of a path. And I don't want to make it look good. It's just going to be functional. Ugh. Let's try to get a little more stone. Just so we can make ourselves also a stone pickaxe. Because well, that's important too. So this is going to be why. Why how much three blocks. This is a, this, I know this is ego. So it's going to have an overall I think nine block radius. I don't even know. I haven't able to do the calculations yet. So, yeah, so this would be 9 blocks, because 3 and times 3 or whatever, I don't even know. Here it is so far, the building. Wow, uh, it looks pretty cool, right? Uh, I'm gonna try to, like, preserve the forest nearby and stuff. So that, look, that, that, that looks good so far. We're gonna put this flower right around there, just actually it looks pretty good because it's on the edge of the block too. And then let's see how much farther we should go in this direction. I don't know what glitch just happened there. Eh, this will be the end of the world. Now I'm pretty good and skilled at designing these actually, because I did do originally some designs. I'll cut down the tree. I originally did some designs in uh, like work SMP season 2 uh, basically it's just work SMP that just like no seasons and it was like a temporary SMP that lasted a month in August and it, w it was like a great series but then we just stopped playing on it but me and War Cries and stuff and Cry we had a couple members on there I used to have a series before I revamped my channel but the channel revamp was worth it trust me okay 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 we got a lot of cobblestone on us Oh, well why do I keep dropping that? So let's see about this. We'll look good like that, or like that. For now I'm feeling like that is... Okay, I'm not used to the setup, hold on. That's better. So now I, because I'm used to pickaxe being my second hand and stuff. Okay, so... This is going to be the... This part of the house. Uh, I'm probably gonna leave that as dirt, and then we'll just put a cobblestone layer on top of it. I don't know. Actually, we'll put a put a spruce wood layer on top of it because then what we're gonna do is this. I think I only needed six, yeah, but I thought I needed more, so I'm actually gonna change my mind. I think this will look good like that, and we'll just remove that just so this has some space. Okay, okay. So this is what we have so far. Hmm. Looks pretty good. I uh, might be open to change it later, but for now that looks good. We'll add that. And using these rest of these blocks here, we will make ourselves a door. Actually, no. I'm not doing a door out of that wood. Like, no. Just, just, just no. We're going to do it out of this wood. I th think this wood will look good, actually. I really don't remember how my house used to look like back then. It's okay, it's okay. We can design a new one. A new style one. I don't think we had any birch wood because birch wood looks really bad. Alright, I'm gonna craft the door. Alright, that is the entrance so far. Alright, we'll make that one a stair. Let's see how it looks now. Hmm. Yeah, pretty fair. Okay, so these will just go this way. Because this will be the bordering wall. And what we're going to build the wall out is going to be out of this, this stuff. Because this stuff's pretty good thing is we don't have a source of it and it's okay if blocks peek out or do we want to just keep them from peeking out actually I'm gonna keep them from peeking out it'll look much better like that yeah let's look at that so yeah we're gonna try to keep them from peeking out we'll, we'll leave the rest of this stuff though and we're gonna need constant support beams everywhere because 
Alright, I'm going to do some quick foundation blocks here. We're going to need a support beam right about around here. And then one about here. And actually, yeah, yeah, that looks good, that looks good. Because then we'll go into the wide area, which I'm going to be working on in just a split second here. Okay, over here will be the wide area. We'll have my bedroom, I think, well, much. Uh, on my original SMP app that I've been talking about, I didn't really have, like, a specific bedroom. I, it was more shared with someone, because that was a multiplayer SMP. So, that, that, that's, that's not gonna, that's not gonna be important at all. Okay, and by the way, it is becoming night. I did notice. I do notice things. We're gonna try to replant this. Actually, because I really want just to be able to farm these. And I'll, and I'll try to replant every time I break one. Because I want to keep the forest. And yeah, guys, you're probably wondering a Unistar strip mine, Sarvnik. I will start the strip mine. It just will take a while to set up, that's all. And, oh yeah, this is raid. This is way too dark, by the way. And this will be way more open than it is right now. That's just. That's seriously just a one pole or one coal plat, one block patch of coal. Never seen those in a long time. All right, so we're gonna need something out here. We're actually gonna double up. Just so it looks good. And we'll place one right there just so it doesn't have to be. And we'll place some more by the door in here. For now, I just want one right about there. Just so I can see what I'm doing when I'm building in here and stuff. Oh, that was not a one block coal patch. Not in any means. It was just. I really couldn't see in the darkness. Okay, the way I render my videos, by the way, on this PC, I might change it. I'm definitely going to change it. When I do my upgrade which is going to be very shortly. Uh, it's it's pretty dark. You can't see anything without light. So just for, for you guys, you probably weren't able to see, I'm going to hold a torch in my left hand, which with while I'm using Optifine, that means that basically, it's a good thing I cleared this out, by the way. It's That basically just means that I'll be able to see light, even though I won't create a light source there. I'll be able to see pretty well around that area, so that's why I'm doing that. So yeah, I know this stuff's pretty boring, guys. I would recommend skipping ahead of the video. I'll probably cut some parts out. So, yeah, just to let you know. Pretty boring, and I'm, I'm not going to care about how I place my torches. I was going to try to count them out, but it, it really doesn't matter. Hold on, are we reaching, like, the end of the hill here? Yup, and I'm being chased by a spooter. So we don't want to deal with that guy. Okay, that's as far as we can go. Put that back. And we'll just layer this up. And we'll make sure this is a wall. I'm not going to be the type of person that tries building over there. And okay, I'm sorry for the slow mining. This must be really annoying. I'm going to try to get upgraded this mini series that I'll be doing. And survival wise, there's probably going to be one coming, a permanent one coming when I get my new PC. And it's going to be much higher quality. It's probably even going to be shaders too. Depends on how I feel. All right, we're going to craft this up a weapon. And there's no more mob to fight. Oh no, this guy's scary. He's like the spider queen from the Hobbit or whatever. I don't even know. Okay. There we go. And we got the advancement monster hunter. Delayed commentary, everybody. 
Alright, alright, alright. Let's see how much work I get done. And I'll be back with you guys once it is mainly daylight. It's like midnight right now and stuff. Alright, I believe the moon is setting and... Ow! Okay, we want to avoid that. And let me work on this thing a little bit, you know. I've decided I will do a birch floor and... That could have been the end of the series right there. <laughs> that would have been epic. <sighs> Not epic that the series ended, but epic that I almost died there. Okay, anyways, get far from the point. That was the remaining skeleton, and I hear a zombie t burning. Okay, 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 cool. I thought there was an iron golem over there for a second. There's quite a lot of flowers, and they do distinguish themselves uh, pretty strangely. Alright, we're going to steal... Ah, oh, these these are in perfect placement. Okay, I won't touch those. So these ones are not in perfect placement though, so I'll just you know nab one of them. But hmm, yeah, you know I I want to raid that thing, but there's gonna be probably mobs in there, and I am not ready to fight mobs at the moment. I'm just gonna steal this one. You gotta take you gotta take risks sometimes. But yeah, all right, we're gonna plant some of these right outside of the the little hobbit hole almost. I'm going to call this the hobbit hole. And guys, I have a huge plan for the series. Even though, despite it being likely temporary, I've still got huge plans. I probably should have made this a non-temporary series. But you know, whatever. Alright, we got a little path going here. <coughs> My throat is getting dead. So yeah, here's the room, and I'm going to need to collect some wood, actually. Let's do that right now. I'm just going to start cutting down trees around the area, because I'm going to need a lot of wood for this. Let's also bring this one down. And yeah, if you have noticed, I am on three hearts. Uh, that's a bit risky, risky business, but don't we all do risky stuff in life? Whoa. Okay. Anyways, this way, and these pillars need to be put in too, and we have just about enough to do it. And, uh, but we have enough to do it, but we don't have enough, you know, Pickaxe strength to do it. Yay. And by the way, we have a lot of stone on us. We might use this for a future project. And depends on how how I interpret it. Alright, here we go. That is the room here. By the way, the rafe the roof may raise up just a tiny bit around this area because I feel like that's necessary. Because as it goes from three wide to five wide, I think it should have a higher roof. It, it only makes sense to. So yeah, higher roof. I, I, I'm going to have to get another wood block. Congratulations, Sarf. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to climb up this hill here to see how high we are. And I don't really like building multiple floors for this thing. Well, yeah, we can build a second floor. It's like a basement or whatever. But the higher it seems worse. But this is as high as we can go. Now, I'm going to screenshot this, because that's 98, which is the Y coordinate for as high as we can go. And I'm spectating the area. I can see Savannah around there. Huh, this is his regular forest. Okay, okay, that's useful. We're going to try building using the forest. And there's the little desert temple or whatever. And over there's a well, and there might be a village somewhere nearby. Alright, this is one of my favorite biome sets, actually. Okay, let's hope we find a tiger soon. And because I can't map out what I've seen and explored so far, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. And that's why it's hardcore, right? And there are quite a lot of flowers here, by the way. Yeah, so what we're going to do right now is... It is it's mid-noon right now, I hope. is a pretty good way to describe it. Anyways, I'm going to head this way. Wait, oh, I thought that was a cave I was gonna like, but 
about to die there. We're gonna head this way, because I need to get some animal meat. And right by where I spawned is where there's a lot of animal meat. By the way, we are gonna take some of those uh, peonies. <coughs> My throat. Oh, I'm gonna take an oxide daisy, too. And you know, even though I've got flowers in my forest, let's take a couple of these. Because they look pretty useful. Anyways, far from the point. We're just gonna... I need, I need all of these, my dudes. I need all of these. We're just gonna grab that, too. I think, I think we have a good amount. Alright, I believe this is where I spawn. Ah, oh, yes. Shepherds. Alright, now I'm gonna be smart with this. Okay, so we're gonna have to make... Alright, we're gonna have to be smart with this. So if we grab all of these... And create three... Dyes. I, I don't wanna use that, but okay. What I mean by it was we can just create three dyes. Now, now listen, since 1.12 came out, we can't make... Like, same color... So, if we die, these guys the same color, then we'll be able to make the same color bed. It's a pretty smart trick, because you can't die, die rule, if you, it makes sense to. So, I guess we can kill more? Okay, I forgot to pick up those peonies. Don't worry, don't freak out. I think we should kill some cows, or pigs and chickens. Oh, I actually can't store that. I don't want to die right Since they're producing eggs, I can just, you know, I accidentally side hit the pig. Alright, that's about the population. And it's starting to become, like, 2 o'clock. I don't even know the Minecraft time. But we're just gonna head throughout this uh, little forest here. Okay, there's another sheep. You can live happily ever after. I'm gonna grab one of these. And you guys are probably like, Sorv, can't you just use bone meal? I could, but I don't want to waste my bone meal, because this is way early game, and you don't want to waste anything in early game, trust me. Just make a short walk back to the hill. And what am I going to call this place? How about the Shire? And it seems a bit unrealistic, because there is a literal two deserts right next to us. But the Shire will... Oh, there's a cow. I was talking about you earlier, buddy. But the Shire has... going to be consistent of... This, these forests, plains, and the savanna. Yeah. And ooh, that, and like also the, the roof forest, which we found. So, it's pretty good biome set so far. Anyways, we are approaching this beautiful spot here. It looks like a beautiful spot. Hopefully you agree. Or else you can click off the video. Alright, anyways, first we can craft ourselves a bed. Which is going to be pretty helpful. I actually like the color of this bed. I think this will be our bedroom for now. But right now. Or oh, we can sleep at night. I'm used to GL where I can just set my spawn by right clicking a bed. It's sad how I get used to these SMPs. And then I just get off them. And we're going to make ourselves a little furnace. Because I think we have enough resources to make it. Plus we do have coal. So most of this setup will be temporary actually. I think this part won't though. I want this to be a furnace room. And we'll start cooking up the meat we've got. So we can finally start eating and regenerating health and all that. And remember guys, this is on hard mode. I have no choice of what difficulty it is on. I physically can't change it on like regular survival. So that's one of the main differences. And yeah, while that's kind of cooking up, I guess I'll just work a bit on this. Okay, no, 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 never mind. It just looks so unsymmetrical. And I'm actually going to start wondering. This is going to be a new room over here. So we'll have to work on that. And I'll add it to the bucket list. And let's just... Mm -hmm. Much better. And we're going to... While that's happening, I'll just plant some of these flowers. I'll also plant the peony. Right around there. I'll plant some red tulips. And we'll just put some... Choose things here. As their blue lights, I mean, they they don't look good, but they all do. So the pink tulips. 
white one. That ends one of my feathers also so nice. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this how cozy it's becoming. It's already becoming light. You can see how the because the tick actually increases. When the world is being generated, it's slow. And the same thing happens if you generate like a lot of new terrain at once. The ticks will start to slow down a little bit. I remember that with a lot of the survivals I've been in. And well now we've got ourselves a rich supply of food. And we can just kind of waste a little bit of food. And I I'm gonna be working on a chicken farm soon. I don't know where it's gonna be, but that's gonna happen soon. And we can tap ourselves an advancement. Sweet dreams by doing our first slumber act. And now that we've actually done this, it's time, dudes. To raid the sandy castle across the land. The desert temple is about to get raided, so we're gonna head there right now. Just pass through the little forest here. And this cool little river. By the way, do I have an axe on me? We'll, we'll come back for the dark oak later. Okay, there's pigs there. That's pretty useful. Let's just take a little bit of the cartography look. Mm, looks pretty nice. Alright, we're gonna have to sneak in through the top. Actually, never mind. This is hardcore. Let's take the stairs. Uh, by the way, I think I should have brought torches on me. A stake. Oh no. Alright, I've raided many desert temples in my time, and I know exactly how this one's gonna work. Break that, and open that for now. We'll take most of the resources since we aren't rich yet on resources in this SP. Ah, oh, this is all trash so far. Yes, not trash. Anti-trash. And last chest. Gold. More gold horse armor. And we'll just make a quick little inventory on space for that. That was about it, right? Yes. And, alright. I don't need this smooth sandstone, but I do want this TNT. For a purposeful reason. Let me just make sure I've got all of it. Okay. Now we're gonna build up and out of here. I will use cobblestone. If I have to, however. Alright, there we go. Something I never gotta do in GL. Raid a desert temple. And we're just gonna find the way out. I know, I know, I know, I know how desert temples work. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Okay, and we're out of the desert. Hmm. So that was a pretty fun raid. Not that important yet. There's some... We'll, we'll check out the, the root forest there in the next episode. And... Yeah, I believe, guys, this is going to be the end of this episode. We've done quite a bit of work so far. We're already on day two, which is the third day of a Minecraft world. And, well, yeah. And this little, this little forest here is pretty great. Okay. I'm just trying to get back to the base for the outro. Anyways, I really do hope you guys have enjoyed this little episode. This is a pretty good one. We got a bed and stuff. We got a pretty good setup already. Do you, if I say so for myself. Even though I actually haven't even created a... Whoa. Growing. Even though I haven't even created the chest yet, I can't craft anymore. So I'll just put this chest... I suppose the chest area will be right here. We can put stuff in here. We can... We can pick up our food and say, okay, I want to cook more. Cook more. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and goodbye.